Okay guys, brand new LP coming up, and it's on Xbox Live Arcade! Oh my goodness, what is it? Oh, you can just read the title and see. Let's watch this opening segment here before we get into it too much, huh? Yeah, good times. Good times. Yeah! Banjo-Kazooie! And this is the Xbox 360 port. Um, if you did not notice on the front of the xylophone that the guy was playing there, it said um, Microsoft Studios. Originally, I think it said Nintendo, I believe. Um, because this was a Nintendo game that was sold to um, Microsoft. And so Microsoft owns it. And yeah, let's erase this one. Alright, we got an empty file here. Yes, I want to erase it. Now, so throughout this game we'll be playing, uh, we will, I'll be talking a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of the 360 port of this game. But um, anyway, let's get started. So we'll see the opening cutscene here and let you guys get used to the story if you are unfamiliar with this game as it is. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking winch? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. By the way, almost everything she says in this game is in um, rhyme. Yeah. Er, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean, this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. It's funny, because she's really ugly. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. Aw, cute little Tootie. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find. It's Tootie. She's cute and kind. That's like Dr. Seuss, man. That's great. Well, we'll see about that. And I think that might be one of the only times she does not actually rhyme. And look, it's Tootie! If you haven't figured it out yet, she is your little sister in this game. She's so cute, isn't she? Running around with her pigtails. Can't stand still hopping around. I had a friend in college like that. Hey there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Yeah, adventures, fun. And there's a big lazy brother. It's totally me. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. Ooh. What a bad witch, huh? Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. 
I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Oh. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger under... <laughs> oh. oh no, she's got her. Somebody. Help! Banjo, wake up now! Yeah, so, in case you're totally new to this game... Yeah, Yawn, what do you want, Kazooie? Yeah, Banjo's the bear, Kazooie's the bird. Thus, it's called Banjo-Kazooie. Let's get outside! There's trouble! Oh no! And thus, we begin the game. Um... Anyway, we can't do anything at this point. We have no moves. Um, we can crouch, and that's it. Anyway, we have absolutely no moves at all. So there's nothing we can do. We have to get our moves. We have to learn them from the mole bottles. And here he is. <clears throat> Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here is my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. I love the sound when Banjo talks. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or B if you think you're already good enough. This is basically whether or not you want to do the tutorial. I'm going to say no, because I already know all the moves. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Hmm, very well, I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. All right. So, this story is we have got to go and rescue our little sister. And, um, huh, yeah. Anyway, he just gave us all of our moves. Normally, we'd go around and find these molehills. And he would teach us different moves at all the molehills, like how to fight and how to do special jumps and everything. Anyway, and as we learned moves... Uh, yeah, that's how you refill your life there. Mmm, honey. Anyway, uh, as you'd learn special moves, we would use them to collect these items up here, which are extra honeycomb pieces. Every time you get six of those, see there's one, every time you get six, your life bar increases by one. Um, yeah, and he's telling you about it. Everything in this game talks. Ugh. Anyway, there are six of those honeycombs down here, so we can go ahead and collect them all here and increase our life bar by one. Um, yeah, anyway. There's another one. Here's, you know, the moves are just, you know, like a glide. Um, you know, crouch jumps, different attacks you can do, but you'll see those moves as we collect these. So, leads me to the next point of business. Um, this is going to be a 100% playthrough. That means I'm going to get, um all of the jiggies, I'm going to get all of the honeycomb pieces, and I'm going to get all the music notes in the game. There's a hundred jiggies, 900 music notes, and um, I believe 20, let's see, six there, two in each nine level, yeah, so uh, 24 uh, honeycomb pieces. And so we're going to be getting absolutely all of those, plus uh, all three Cheeto spellbook locations. Uh, in this game, and if you don't know what any of that is, because you don't know about the game, that's okay. I will explain it as we get closer to it. You will learn it as we go. Um, so yeah, anyway, good game. It's a classic game. That's why I figure most people know about it and are familiar with it, but I know we have some really young, like, viewers on this channel who have to, uh, oh, anyway, we have some really young viewers on the channel who may not be familiar with some of these older games. It's sad that I'm calling 64 games old, and I still remember when I bought my 64 for, you know, $120. Here's another move that let us, lets us just attack things. This move really isn't very essential in the game, um, except we get that with it. And one more honeycomb piece, and that's going to come from up here. We're going to fight a guy and steal a honeycomb piece from him. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, we got extra health. All right, neat. So now we go up to the top of the mountain to meet Bottles. And, um... Yeah, that's gonna be, uh... That's probably gonna be the end of this episode. This is gonna be a short introduction episode. Give you guys a basic, um... 
basic introduction to the game and get to the opening part and get ready to really get started on the on the different levels here. This is a big mountain you have to go up. Hey, bottles. So, you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. All right. We are going to cross the bridge and go in here and see what's going on. And get a cutscene, of course. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and to the old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt, really. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo! Hell. Oh. Apparently you can buy machines that steal beauty from some people and give it to others. That's kind of kind of a neat idea. I bet you can make quite a bit of money on that. There he is. There it begins. The tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. Okay. Anyway. Crazy witch lady. So this is the opening room to her lair. We will start going through the different levels of the game here next time. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this playthrough. I think I'm going to. So thanks a lot for watching, friends. And until next time, stay frosty. It is such a good night to scooby dee doo dee doo scooby dee doo dee doo scooby dee doo dee doo doo la la